Hello, welcome back. Today I would like to show you how you can configure Firewall D. Basically all you need to do is you have to install Firewall D first. If you are on Debian or Ubuntu, you can do sudo apt install Firewall D. If you are on something like uh, Fedora or uh, Red Hat distributions, you can do a DNF or uh, yum if you are on arch you can do a pacman dash s followed by firewall d you are going to have uh, firewall d installed you can check whether the status of the service so for that status firewall d if you do that it's going to tell you like uh, firewall d service it's not loaded and it's not going to like currently it's not starting with the boot of the system because we just installed it so we can enable that by sudo systemctl instead of status we are going to use enable dash dash now so what this does is uh, it's going to enable firewall d at boot and it's going to start it at the same time if you check the status again you can see firewall d service has been loaded and it's actively running and it has been enabled so it will start with the boot the next thing is we can configure firewall d in two ways you can configure that in either using your command line or using your firewall d configuration tool i will show you both ways first i'm going to show you how you can configure from your terminal emulator firewall dash cmd dash dash get dash zones these are the different zones that are available by default when you install firewall d zones provide they are used to provide you different levels of security associated with the zones and a zone will be associated with at least one network interface by default you're having lock dmc drop and all this if you do a firewall cmd followed by dash dash list dash all you're going to see the configuration you need to have super user privileges so currently you can see our profile public profile or public zone is active if you just do a list all without specifying the zone it's going to give you the default or current zone which is activated for your system we can change the zone we can see the configuration inside other zones also if you want to change the zone you can do firewall cmd dash dash set dash default zone equals you can specify the zone name so for example you can specify external if you do that it's going to ask you for your super user password because you need uh, root privileges or uh, you need to have uh, super user uh, permissions for this now if we do a list all we are going to see okay now we are going to see our profile or zone has been changed to external again if you don't know the zones you can activate like you can see them by using firewall cmd dash dash get zones the configuration inside one specific zone you can do list all and you can specify dash dash zone equals followed by whichever zone you want like home for example and the space dash dash list all so it's going to give you information regarding that zone specified by you, you can add a service or remove a service from your firewall you can allow and deny a services access to the outside world by using a firewall for adding a service you can do firewall dash cmd dash dash zone equals external and we are going to add a service and we are going to specify the service name something like ftp so if you have uh, that service inside your system it will be like success if you don't have that service in your system it will give you an error now if you do something like list again so you can see ssh and ftp available here so after doing your changes you can do like sudo firewall dash cmd reload if you do that it's going to make changes to your firewall according to the changes you have done over here this is actually the runtime configuration which you are changing so after every reboot this configuration will be resetted back to its default if you don't want that to happen you can use something like uh, dash dash permanent it's going to persist the changes this is going to make the changes permanent it will stay like uh, even after the reboot if you want to remove something 
like ftp you can like instead of add you can use uh, can use remove you have to specify remove dot service is equal to ftp so it's going to remove that now if we do like uh, a list again you can see ftp has been removed from the services and if I want to remove like SSH, I can also specify like SSH. So sudo firewall dash cmd reload. If I do a list all, there are no services like allowed through my firewall. So everything is blocked. Allow and deny processes by ports. Instead of using the service name or uh, remove service, you just specify remove dash port slash TCP. If you do that, it's going to allow uh, a TCP port and like it's going to remove Oh, so if you specify dash dash remove dash ports and you specify the port following like uh, the protocol it's going to allow or remove allowing through the port or uh, removing through the port so same thing so if you don't want like uh, the changes to be persistent you can remove the permanent flag and if you want to like learn more you can always specify dash dash help so it's going to give you all the available flags or all the available commands which you can use with firewall d and also with there is man view man firewall d you are going to have access to the man page so it's having all the necessary documentation for you to get started that is managing firewall d through your terminal so the next thing you can do is firewall configuration tool if you open this up you can manage the same task which you have done in from the terminal you can do that from the graphical front end so it's going to ask you for your password basically here you have uh, the options to change whether you want runtime changes or permanent changes then here you have zones you can select whichever zone you want here you can specify which service you want to allow or deny here you have option for specifying ports protocols source ports you can do masquerading you can add filters all these things so you can specify interfaces then you have uh, service configuration individual service configuration over here so when you have uh, reload options over here you can change default zone you can change uh, this is the default zone connection that is um, when in the starting of the video i told you like uh, it will be configured to at least one interface so this is my wired interface and you can enable panic mode lockdown mode you can make changes from runtime to permanent that is how you configure firewall d in your linux system so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day